Hi, this is Prashant. First of all, I apologize for making my viewers waited so long for this. This is part 2 of how to check an LC. As of now, we have discussed a few fields of this particular LC. And here we will discuss the rest. In the previous video, we have discussed up to field number 39B. So let's start from field number 41A. Available with by any bank by negotiation. In general, on completion of a shipment, exporter releases all the prescribed documents from various government and private agencies as mentioned in the LC. Then they will approach their preferred bank, present the documents to negotiate the bill, which means without receiving foreign currency from importer, your bank will credit the amount in your account instantly. The credited amount will be adjusted once they receive it from importer's bank. On receiving the amount from importer's bank, your bank will inform you and will let you know if they have deducted any fees and calculate the interest fees and adjust the same in your account. Now field number 43P, partial shipment. This field clearly instructs us whether there is a permission to partly ship the agreed quantity or not. Suppose an importer order you 100 containers of rice bags. He wants all his demands has to be fulfilled in a single lot. So he instructs his bank to write prohibition clause in partial shipment field. Now it's your responsibility to complete the order in a single shipment. Suppose he allowed you partial shipment. You can export in as many batches as you want considering all economical factor and LC validity. Now field number 43T. Transshipment means whether you are permitted to transship the cargo through various routes and medium. If it is permitted, then you are free to route your cargo in an economical way. Or else, you have to find a direct route to the port of discharge. Now 44E, port of loading or airport of departure. Nothing to say much about this field as the title suggests the meaning. But one thing to note here. It is advised to ask your buyer to give it as any port specifying country name. Just like here, it's written as any Turkish port or any Indian port. If your buyer have mentioned the port name clearly, let's say Visakhapatnam port, then you have to dispatch your cargo through that port only. What happens is, sometimes considering some other factors, exporters choose the port of loading. So better to have an option so that you can switch your port of loading later. Field number 44B, place of delivery, which means the final destination of your consignment. Please remember, you need to write the exact name and style as it is in all the documents. Now field number 44C, latest date of shipment. This is very crucial. Please remember, this date is very important. Please make sure the BL means bill of lading date must so the shipped on board or laden on board on or before the latest shipment date. Do not be confused with cargo received for shipment date. That is different than this latest date of shipment. So you need to clarify this with your agent or liner agency before booking any space in a vessel. Field number 45A, description of goods. Please make sure to include this particular narration in all documents that you make for negotiation. You may include some other details, but it's wise to mention the exact details as mentioned in field number 45A. Now field number 46A, documents required. This is the full list of documents that you need to make for negotiation. Here we will discuss some important things. Our first document is commercial invoice. You might be knowing it pretty well how to make this document. Now, as per this instruction, you have to make one original and two copies of the same. And in general, delivery terms are mentioned in commercial invoice. So nothing to worry for this point. Second, full set of clean onboard bill of lading issued or endorsed to the order of and blah, blah, blah. Actually, to tell you all the minor details of these terms, I have to discuss the full BL details like type and uses and various parts. So let's keep it aside and comment below if you want me to make a full details video on that. 
coming back to the topic you need to enclose all three negotiable bl as mentioned here as per this term you need to mention two order of arab bank plc in importer or consignee name and in notify party area mention the applicant full name with style taking from the applicant field make sure your bl must show freight prepaid it must have written somewhere on bl and this condition is mentioned in the lco and the third part the name and the address of shipping company in destination in general this included in the bl by the shipping company just re verify the same with your liner before taking the final bl print out third document you have to get this document from shipping company just confirm the same thing with the liner before booking space later they may refuse to provide this letter so it's wise to take a written confirmation through mail fourth document that you will get from chamber of commerce in your local area state this exact word as shown here goods are of turkish origin and put the name and address of manufacturer fifth document nothing to say much as you have to prepare this but one thing to advise you just put this lc number and date in each and every document for safe side now coming to field number 47a additional conditions first point is related to guarantee here they have given a clause that they may not honor our lc i personally feel it's not good so talk to the buyer regarding this before moving further with your order one more thing to tell you these are additional conditions not all conditions are universal buyer may add his own condition here just check it thoroughly second condition is a common one it's related to discrepancy fees means if they find any error in document they will deduct this amount or number of errors multiplied by this amount to be honest sometimes it all depends on buyer if he wants anyhow he will find some error in your documents and inform their bank to save some amount third condition the documents you issue must be dated and must not dated prior to the lc date it's common so nothing to say much about that fourth condition is related to the credit number you need to add this lc number in every document including in bills of exchange in general bills of exchange are called as drafts fifth point is your name and address in full style sixth point is just a point nothing to say much on this actually there is a lot to say but it will not impact anything to your document making process so let's just skip it field number 71b charges here they have mentioned that beneficiary means your company will bear all charges that's it period for presentation here they have given a reference to 47a let's see well i didn't find any specific date but to make you understand i will say the sooner the better 49 confirmation instruction this is a confirmed lc to make you understand more comment below to make a separate video on types of lc 78 this is generally an instruction to negotiating bank where you are going to present your documents for negotiation here they have advised to them to forward all the original document sets and copies to them but documents plot arrangements are done by exporter in common to avoid any mistakes by bankers that's so humorous we don't trust them which is actually their job to do but what to do this is the system i can give you n number of examples of their mistakes so to avoid mistakes and unnecessary delay exporter arranges the sets of documents if you want me to make a separate video for that just comment below reimbursement details just show it to the forex manager if he is kind enough and confident enough in his job he will put a swift message in their system to get the foreign currency sooner or else he may show you his knowledge and might tell you that money will come automatically the scenario has happened with me so i'm telling you this is it for this tutorial thank you